need to find out what happened. I don't know where the butt came from. Where the what came from? Hi kids, this is Eddie of Edward is Truth, and you're watching What I Got. This week we're going to be screening Truth from 2013, written and directed by Rob Moretti, and also starring Moretti and Sean Paul Lockhart. Truth tied in the poll with Sudden Fear, which we screened last week. And all I know in advance is that it's categorized as an LGBTQ genre film. I'm also familiar with Sean Paul Lockhart's work as an actor, having seen him in Another Gay Sequel, and I was a teenage werebear. Not to mention his turns in adult cinema as Brent Corrigan. Rob Moretti has three credits to his name uh, as a director on IMDb, and this is my first exposure to any of his projects. So I don't really know what to expect, maybe a little heat, a little partial nudity at least, and some drama, but let's dive in and see. Left of center entertainment. Some things are a little different. All right. There's those eyes. Wow, this is intense. Whoa. Oh, oh. Okay. Wow. Flashback, okay. Sean Paul Lockhart. Oh. Okay, so we're beginning at the end, I presume? I've gone over this for two days. I don't remember anything. Mommy. What I got for Very long proscenium shot, wow. No way. Oh, okay. So his love was no rejected. Way! Wow, wow, wow. Oh, he produced it. Again, my name is Dr. Carter Moore. You waived your right to an attorney, and I'm just here to speak with you. Why'd you waive your right to an attorney? I don't remember anything. You just, okay. And you just don't trust anybody. That's all right. So you don't know what the truth Let's is. Let's just start at the beginning. Okay, so we're going to pick up what you do remember and try to uncover the truth. Oh, boy. So beautiful. Made of Angels in a playground. Never there is nothing the typical same. about you. <laughs> I'm going to try real hard to focus. <laughs> He's just very pretty. Wow. Who's bringing the flowers? Who brings flowers to a first date, really? Like, isn't that kind of a red yeah. flag? Jeremy brought them. Oh, I shouldn't have. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for the flowers, by the way. Gentlemen always brings flowers on a first date. What? Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. It's not a date. It's coffee. I'm not used to guys being so nice to me. Oh, come mm. on. That is hard to believe. No one's ever got me flowers before. Well. In fact, the flowers I gave my mother, she rejected them. You did. So what's he going to do wrong? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? Are you? You're beautiful. Jeez, if Sean Paul Lockhart tells you you're beautiful, isn't that kind of everything? Isn't that kind of all you need? You're, I think you're set. You're shaking. Can I kiss you? Oh yeah, oh. Oh, it's a pure little closed mouth kiss. And oh, I love the lingering. That's very affectionate. <laughs> <laughs> little kiss on the nose. All right. I don't know. It's a little soon, but... All right. You gave me flowers when I met you. I mean... Oh. I want to tell you inside. Oh. Okay. 
there's really foreboding music going on. What? Am I ever going to see you again? <laughs> um, the sexual chemistry is... Maybe it's just because I've seen Sean Paul Lockhart have much stronger chemistry in his adult films, and even in his uh, forays into just straight cinema. Like, not straight, but, you know, cinema. Oh, dear. It wasn't the most passionate love scene ever. But maybe it was supposed to be awkward, and that's why it was scored so strangely. I don't know. Oh. She's got problems. Oh, honey. Oh! Please stop. The memory's seeping back. Oh, there's more flowers. Took some homework trying to find you. That hat is hilarious. Are they trying to make him look younger? It makes him look like a Backstreet Boy or something. Boy, you have grown to be such a big boy. Oh, dear. These lines are awkward. Why do you cover up your hair like that? Oh, okay, it's supposed to be there. You have such a... That's why it's a huge hat. A nice head of hair. You do! Not like your father. Like me. Oh. Daddy thumbs down. Caleb. My boy Caleb. Is she gonna start singing? You left me, Mom. I'm you pretty... I... Oh! She gave you up. I'm here now. Something I want to tell you. Well, you weren't really trying that hard to wake him up, so I doubt it was something you really wanted him to hear. When I woke up, he was gone. When you woke up, he was How gone. How did that make you feel? Abandoned. Alone. We need to find out what happened. I don't know where the butt came from. Where the what came from? I mean, the butt came from him, right? That's, I'm sorry. I need, I'm sorry. Can I help you? He felt abandoned. You? If you disappear the I'll next morning, it. dude. Uh, cappuccino. So how are you? Very aggressive. I like it. How much time has passed? What else can I get you? Did I do something wrong? Yeah, you disappeared yeah, after you gave him flowers. Me. You left. Yeah. No note, no phone number. Nothing. Yeah, that's pretty cold. That was three days ago. Oh, it's been three days. Okay. I'm sorry. That's why I'm here. Ew, ew, oh, that's really... Don't do it. Caleb. Don't give him another chance, but you have I'm to because it's the movie. I didn't mean to make you this upset. Caleb, find somebody else. I knew I'd see you again. Yeah, well, I didn't. Yeah! Have dinner with me. No! Mm. Okay. Oh, man. This has got to be the best Chinese food I've ever had. Yeah? Mm hmm How much Chinese food have you had? I thought sitting by the fireplace would be... Kind of romantic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Usually they face the Thanks. fireplace while they. Yeah. All right, whatever. It was left to me when my mom died. Okay. Torn sweater. What's up with that? Um, sorry to hear that. Cat owner realness. How'd she die? She wasn't my real mom. I just call her that because she's the closest thing. Oh wait, what? Wait. So. I don't know my real dad either. Okay. So there's another not real mom, or he's, I can't tell what's going on. adopted. Through. Layers, layers. You were adopted, okay. And then I met this older couple, Karen and Bill, gave me a stable home. They knew I was gay from the beginning, no problem with it. That's nice. Really cool. Yeah. Long story short, Karen caught Bill cheating and she kicked him out. So uh, shortly thereafter, she was diagnosed with leukemia. And two days before my 17th birthday, she died. Wow. They let me back here when I was 18. And by leaving me this place, she made sure I, 
I always have a home. I think that all that stuff that you've gone through has made you into the man you are today. I don't really care what you think. What do you know about what, what man he is today? You barely know him. Why are you so nice to me? You're, he's not! Thank you. Oh my god. I never met anybody like you before. That's why I, I never told dropped anybody. off the face of the earth for three days before I popped into your place of business and cornered you and pressured you into this evening. Are you ready for dessert? Oh god. Oh, no! Stop it! Oh, I'm upset. I love horses. And that's true. Sean Paul this Lockhart one, really does love horses. I used to hide, you know, hide in my closet. To sit with this one and hope and pray that one day he would come to life, right? And just take me away from all the hell that I was living. You ever ride one? A few times in Vermont. Well, we should go. To Vermont? No, Nimrod. Horseback riding. You do that with me? Yeah. No, oh, come on. He's only a little bit poisonous. Don't tap the glass. Can <laughs> <laughs> you sell for like a dog or a cat? No, I don't like yappy little Paris Hilton dogs, and Lord knows I ain't in a pussy. I take him out all the time. Let him roll all over me. <gasps> Remind me not to be here when you do that. <laughs> Ow! Oh, <fuck. laughs> That's a mean sibling laugh. I love it. Just like, <laughs> I'm a mean older sibling, so, you know. It's date number two, and you could stay like this forever after he's already broken your heart. Well, not broken your heart, but, like, disappointed you once. Man, I can't believe this is real. It's date number two. Nothing is real yet. Don't pinch him. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. They're already taking selfies as a couple and walking hand in hand. I, how long before he kills him, also? Like, is it gonna just be another three days? Where is he? Does he know I'm in here? Let me ask you something. Did you kill him? Did you ever intentionally do something to Jeremy that would hurt him? Yeah, you killed him. No. Give me that goddamn it. How many times do I have to tell you not at the dinner table? You are not leaving this table until you finish every goddamn bit of that. Do you hear me? Oh my god, so horrible. Oppressive. Do you hear me? But I don't oh. like it, Mommy. Eat! 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 Ah! Eat. Ah! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, boy, eat! 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 Go to bed. This is strange. Like, I, I, I don't feel like that sequence was successful. Really hard. Are you sure this doesn't bother you? God, who does the camera love more than no. Sean Paul Lockhart? My gosh. It's cool. There's so much good in you. And validating that good is not always an easy thing to do. How long it's has it been? Long. They keep talking like they have such insight to each okay. other. I can't shake this feeling of being abandoned. Right. You can change that. That is all up to you. No, it's actually up to you, too. Don't abandon him. You, mister, have me now. Does he, though? Also, those are all words. This is I all stuff that you should be able to, to prove with, you with your actions. People can say anything they want. Doesn't mean that they're going to come, come on, through. Come on, wake up. I got a surprise for you. Have you moved in? What is happening? Where are we in the relationship? Oh, he's going to see the uh, medication that he takes. Yeah, what is he taking and why? That'd be interesting to know. Uh oh. It's a lot of bottles. Okay, I, and I can't read. I don't, I don't know what prescriptions are anyway, so. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Like, what? 
ab abilify? I can't even read them. Well, since horses are the one thing that brighten that beautiful smile. Oh my god. I thought you should have one of your own. Yeah, let's just coddle it's each fun. other and compliment each other and like, you know, fun. give each other the day of our life and everything like that. And not actually confront each other and actually talk about what's real like, what's up with all the medications in your cabinet, darling? Meet your new owner. That is a beautiful horse. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that reminds me of a horse that I used to ride at camp called Radish. Red horse with the white stripes look just like that. Oh. I just want you to know that you have made me the happiest I've been. Oh, I'm going to vomit. Oh my god. Is it because I'm single? Like these lines, I never felt this way before. I can't. This shit doesn't work for me. I love you so much. I love you so much. How long has it been? How long have you been together? I don't trust it. I never had love. Growing but, up. Even when I was a little kid. Right, right, right. right. Being told. Yeah, because your mom was a bitch. I was a pussy boy. Or all the time. Oh. Who called you that? Your mom. My mother. Yeah. For starters. For start. Oh, boy. What the is is disgusting slang. That's all. Whatever. Yeah, we're, oh. I'm gay, okay? Yeah, no, no, she oh, gets that. Great. That's not a bad thing. Yeah. Being a killer. Pony boy. You know, from the movie The Outsiders. Yeah. I like the name, but can't say I've ever seen it. Because you're a baby. Today. Screen it for him. Donnie Darko. Who? Donnie Darko. When he was a teen. Yeah. That old. Dark and rooting thing. Yeah, right? We all Get feel all that, that don't we? <laughs> thing going. I'd hung this Outsiders poster on my bedroom wall, and I thought I was being all inconspicuous about it with it hung behind my bed. My mom comes in with a pile of laundry. She walks in, and I'm so caught off guard that I roll off the bed, and I fall to the ground. <laughs> Classic. It was like something out of a Ben Stiller movie, but... <laughs> I'm Something out of a Ben the, Stiller the movie? Was... Like when Zoolander hits you his know. head? Now I have you. This is... Uh, stop it with the baby dee dee baby, baby so talk! Nervous. God! You ever think about finding your mom? You really, wanna, point. you really wanna pull at that thread? Closure. What? No, you can. You don't have to see somebody for closure, buddy. I have thought about it a couple times. Okay, okay. And? Someday. Okay, cool. Enough said. Don't push. That's not a good... That's no. family. Hey. Uh-oh. It's a nice couple. She's going to love this. Take really care of me. Mm-hmm. What's brown and sticky? Uh, poop. No. <laughs> A stick, silly. <laughs> oh. I don't really get the whole Algebra 2 thing. Algebra Really? Maybe your geometry brain. Say? Oh, God. Jokes? I don't know. <clears throat> <clears throat> Rub it. Oh, rub it. Rub it. <laughs> what do you call a lesbian dinosaur? <laughs> now we got the gay jokes. <laughs> oh. <Come> on, <laughs> Come on, Gabby. <laughs> Duh. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these traumatic hey, flashbacks. Just one more. Yeah, they they cross um, the line from being traumatic to just kind of being a little ridiculous. Oh God. Pedophile jokes. Thanks, mom. Sexy babies. <laughs> Get it? Maybe the score it? isn't right. It's Maybe it just needs to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> ah! mm. Oh! It's sexy baby. It's sexy baby. Sexy baby. 
What does she? What does she have? What is the diagnosis? <laughs> like it feels like generic film syndrome. <laughs> I'm in the nervous hospital, son, so I act weird and I make inappropriate jokes instead of listening to your day. It's very strange. There's this amorphous, undiagnosable problems in his bloodline, I guess, because we still don't know what he's taking and why. So where did you learn all this? Is the flame even on? Yeah, <laughs> the pan is over a flame that is not turned on! <laughs> yeah, they're great cooks. Oh, uh... You shouldn't have. Oh, I thought they were the matches to turn on the flame. God. All right, what did you get him? Oh, oh my God, a Bugs Bunny toothbrush. I know, it's silly. No, it it's is sweet. not silly. Bugs Bunny's great. It's very sweet. Yeah. I just thought that we could, um... <laughs> Cohabit! Step. Level. The... <laughs> oh. You can keep it here. Oh, no, how no sweet! Okay, so he hasn't moved in yet. A key. To your hole. No, oh, <laughs> gross. No, um... To my heart. No, the house. The house. Or to my heart. That. These long lingering looks too. I can't baby. with the baby. Thank you. But I reject the key and the toothbrush. <laughs> uh, I love you so much. <laughs> great, 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 great. By the way, um, they're eating cold spaghetti. <laughs> it never heated up, but neither of them can tell because they don't know how to cook. Your mom. What what are you doing? You found his mom. Great. Because that was your business. That's your job. Dude, he invited you to live with him, not to run his life. Oh, I'm getting so triggered by this movie. This should be no one's ideal relationship, this movie. <laughs> okay, I'm wondering if I'm ever going to see a relationship I, I can actually it. support in any of these screenings that we do. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. I apologize. Okay. Just fucking stop. Just fucking stop. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why can't you make me a fucking boyfriend and not my keeper? I'm not. You have not fucking no me. idea. They should be standing for this scene. So what? I thought I you want to know a secret? You want to know a secret? I've been keeping tabs on the bitch the entire time in the fucking loony bin. That's exactly where she's been. Yeah. I knew that. I fucking knew that. Just calm down. No. I'm Don't sorry. tell me to calm down. I'm sorry, okay? You I have, thought I was doing something right. You have no fucking idea how it feels. You have fucking no idea. Enough. Enough. Oh, okay. Dear. Shut up. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. All right? Mm. Just calm down. This could have been staged so much more dynamically. Sorry. Stationary camera while they're both sitting and yelling at each other, or while he's yelling at him. I... All right. Yeah, it's just a little awkward. Makeup sex instantaneous. All right. I have no complaints about this scene. It's actually making me realize it's been a while since I've seen a movie depicting gay characters where there's been really explicit gay sex. Well, not even explicit, but just, you know, where the sex becomes kind of the centerpiece of the scene. Is that still happening in cinema, in gay cinema? Because most gay content I consume these days, we're just kind of living our lives, getting coffee, having talks, going to work, working through our shit, having, you know, fights with our partners, with our families, with whoever. But not a lot of, uh, you know, the more kind of explicit or explicit adjacent stuff like this. This is like, this feels like a holdover from like the days of Queer as Folk and, you know, when filmmakers seemed to be much more motivated to feature the physical, the sexual component of it so frankly and so unapologetically. There's mom. You're fucking disgusting. Oh, he's fucking you disgusting. Fucking oh, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. He came to you visit did you. This to fuck, me. what? No, he didn't do anything to you. You. No. 
made me like this. No. You did it. No, 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 no. no you no, made me what no, I am. No, 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 no. Don't even you, let it in, darling. Look at you, that. You. I can't stand you. I cannot stand Just that. Just get up and you leave. Out of my vagina. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I can't stand that either, you Mom. <laughs> ruin. See, like me. I said, that the crosses a line here. Use. Tore up my insides. I shouldn't. Oh. You stole every piece of me when you forced your little fat, wrinkly baby Again, body with, like, into the heart this world. Felt like my music. Heart. This is the wrong spot for it. My intestines. My. Pussy. My intestines. My fucking anus. You're gross. What? You are disgusting. Which one of us are talking Look about our you. intestines and our anus Just right now? Look okay. At you. <laughs> oh. Look at him. He's gorgeous. Look at you, honey. I I oh no 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 no! Okay, th th finally somebody thinks to step in. She's ranting and raving and screaming the f word. And <laughs> oh, and that makes him psychotic. Or okay, wait. So he's shaking, and now he's not shaking. So that's one question I'd have for Rob Moretti. It's just. What is this character's problem? Oh, now he's cutting. It, it kind of feels like we're borrowing symptoms from a bevy of disorders or syndromes or just behavioral habits. You and I, we need to talk. Oh, now we need to talk. You hate me? No! No. But, but... No, I don't hate but, you. But, come on. But you, I am the one that you should hate. Why? This is all my fault. Wait, what? I never should have butt in. Wait. This isn't anyone's fault. Wait. So we're just going to blame ourselves and not actually get to the root of, like, what's going on? You're still not going to ask him about the medication? And not comprehend why you would cut yourself like this. Okay, that is so accusatory and so damning. I don't like the tone that you say that. Uh, you just blamed yourself, and now you're like, I don't know how you could do this to yourself. Fuck know. you, and fuck I guess I just the horse you rode in on. You know, I look at you, and all I see is pain. I just want to make it better. You can't you know, do that. Don't try so hard. Yeah, there you go. I'm not used to all this. You know, no one has ever given me this much. And, and no one should be used to this, and what he's offering you. What was I supposed to do? I walk in and I see you bleeding. I don't call that trying too hard, okay? I call that trying to take care of somebody I love. I can't get behind this dialogue right now. It's... You're not going to leave me now, are you? It's like a conversation that Did doesn't go anywhere. Do said... Huh? Come on. I said I love you. And that's supposed to heal everything? You know, the past eight months have changed my life more than you will ever know. Finally know the timeline. It's been eight months. I never want to leave you. Talk about has he ever had help? Does he want to get help? Tell him you'll stand by him, what, however he wants to pursue this, but that we can't go on this way. It's... it. <laughs> I'm rewriting the script. Because <laughs> that's the thing, is like... I think you need a little bit of Nero in the It's a lot harder to sit through people making dumb mistakes than it is to sit through people who are kind of doing everything they can. And maybe making mistakes here and there, but doing everything they can, showing up as much as they can, like I think most people would, and it's still not enough, because that's life. Sometimes you can do everything right, and it's not enough. You can't heal people. You can't cure them. You can be there, and you can do what you can do. And that's everything. That's re That really is everything, just being there. Most of us, that's all we need to know, is that someone's there for us, you know? So how much longer before you kill him, or cut it off, or whatever it is you're going to do? That basket, dude. I can't... <laughs> 
I mean, there's no hiding it, and I'm not complaining. It's just distracting. I can't concentrate. <laughs> What do you, what, uh huh? Where are you? Why am I scared? Are we breaking and entering? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, he's visiting his place. Uh oh. Is he closeted? Is he leading a double life? Is he. There's people. What's happening? I'm terrified. God, no. No! He is married with a child on the way! Okay, now I understand why you want to kill him. So this is why I didn't trust any of the shit that he said, because look. She just kicked. This kid has been going crazy all day. Because she hates the predicament she's going to be born into. Her father is consumed with self-loathing and secrecy and duplicitous actions. I wouldn't want to be born into that either. Okay, the drama's just gonna kick in, right? Oh, he just left the flowers. No, oh, I thought they were gonna have some kind of confrontation. That would have been exciting, but whatever. Oh, now he's the insomniac. You have to be completely honest with me. You're an asshole! We're gonna make this work. No, fuck you! In your one-way street of honesty. I want to say you shouldn't ever kill anybody, because I do honestly believe that. But I watch a movie like this, it... Oh. It's okay, it's all make-believe. Sorry, baby, I got stuck in the ER. Don't call him baby. Come to bed. He doesn't deserve to be in bed. Oh dear, especially not with you, darling. My god. how this goes. Is this my payback for being late? You're so fucking casual. Oh, you dirty boy. Mm, you really don't suspect anything? Now kiss me. Oh, God, you're such an idiot. Yeah, you deserve to die. Or whatever he does to you. I don't know. Let's wait and see. Yeah, you got a surprise. Cut his dick off. Oh my god. <gasps> you stole it? Or did you buy another one? Can I open? <laughs> did he put his wedding ring on? Okay, take these off. Okay, come on, let me let me explain. Just take these off. Wait! You didn't know that he knew? <laughs> so you're gonna leave him? <laughs> hey, wait, wait, let me explain. Oh my god, so far I'm on board Caleb. for this. Caleb. Yeah, Caleb. Oh, this should have been the whole movie. Just psychotic hostage situation. I love it. Revenge and madness, and he's hitting his head. Do something with the camera, come on. Take us inside his head. Alright, don't. <laughs> He's crying. I'm sorry. I just, there's no way this this guy's gonna win me over now. <laughs> Tell him what's gonna happen to him if he doesn't shut up. I'm on the side of, of the killer. I'm such a horror fan. It's an anti everything the relationship has been up until this point. Person. Do what you gotta do, honey. The truth tattoo is still kind of a mystery. And I guess it's supposed to be a subtle, not so subtle allusion to how much he values the truth. But I don't know, something it, that could have been a theme that was brought up a little bit more than it has been. Stop breathing like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> What is he pouring on him? If it were rubbing alcohol, it wouldn't hurt that much. What did you call me? Uh oh. <laughs> I've been here for hours. You 
fucking psycho! Whoa! <laughs> I want to hear it again. <laughs> yes. See again. I'm supposed to be terrified. I think, there and not. Now see, I know. <laughs> amused. And you know that. But does your wife know that? Like this is actually even more arousing <laughs> than it is <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> Damn, you are pathetic. He is. Yeah, that's true. These are facts. <laughs> Nothing that we did was a lie. Oh, fuck you! And she's pregnant? She's pregnant too? <laughs> Take that off of me. No. I, I like that he's wearing Daddy's Angel. Oh, don't take it off! You're just like everybody else. No. You're not listening. Oh! <laughs> You're not listening? <laughs> you don't. Shut up. You don't want to criticize your captor, darling. Have you heard of brief reactive psychosis? Okay, we finally have a diagnosis here. The subject tends to hear voices and hallucinate. Wouldn't hallucinations be like his mother talking to to him? Like actually being talking in the room and... Life growing up. It, it's exactly. just come off like flashbacks. I'm so Thank tired you. of the quasi-science. So many credit cards. <laughs> oh, done. No. Ooh, look at that. It's the first word you said in hours. I was beginning to think you were mad at me. <laughs> Why did you get married if you're gay? Good question. You have no clue about our relationship. That's you're why he's gay. asking. He's asking you. You can't make that go away. Or he's bi, uh, yes, or fluid, or... Oh, okay, okay so there, he is gay. I right. said it. I'm gay. All right. Jeez. I thought it would change. <sighs> I thought having a baby would make things different. I mean, I'm not going to judge anybody for, like, the choices they make in their life and everything, but when you deceive it's people... So easy for you, isn't it? I don't endorse deception. You're in different times, Kay. You? You're both you have things like mm, fucking glee. You're both living in the same I time heard. right now, kid. I heard. <gasps> he got the spider out. Yeah. Oh god, and good for this guy, for Rob Moretti for Cuz I don't know if I could do this. Would you like me to leave the TV on for you? <laughs> the TV. There's no TV. <laughs> what? What was that? Okay, drink. Drink. Swallow. <coughs> now, I know you know how to do that. <laughs> we should do the trick. Those wrists are looking bad. <laughs> no, you don't get to go. No. You are home. <laughs> this is fun just this component of it the rest of it is it straddles intense and ridiculousness and you know but this is this is kind of the movie i've been waiting for you know enough of this relationship i love you and you know why because you make me happy uh, oh fuck you i like this better <laughs> what does that say about me don't answer that Damn, those wrists are raw! Wow, what has he been doing? <laughs> it looks like he's been chewing on them or something. What happened? Oh, he's got his Andrew Christians on. And your wife doesn't know you're gay? All right, here we go. <laughs> I love it's the cell phone, condoms, and lube. <laughs> Is that your wife? All right. And you're still wearing the wedding ring. Ooh, what's going on here? He's cute. He's totally eye fucking you too, my god. Yeah, that is not subtle. Can I get one of these? <laughs> He's got other things on his mind, buddy. I love the expression on Senior. his face. Because I work here. Yeah. So listen, I'm hot. I think you're kind of hot. Oh, that, we make it that is so smooth. I'm hot. That's stupid. I think you're kind of... Yeah, thank you. You're stupid. You are stupid. Plus, I'm married. Yeah, well, uh, good luck with that. Fuck you. 
on the house. Hmm. You're a nasty little bitch, aren't you? For giving you free coffee? Fuck you. You have no idea. Yeah. What are you going to do, kid? I love that he's going to work at the coffee house. Is he dead yet? <laughs> <laughs> he's got this kind of like Get up. disgruntled postal worker uh, DMV uh, energy going uh, on. Come on. It's <laughs> giving his best Karloff. Seriously? You can actually feel good right now? Ew. The trauma has completely left his body. His wrists don't even exist anymore. Well, maybe he's got nerve damage. Uh-oh, I'm scared. What are you gonna do? And out come the hedge clippers. <laughs> oh, seriously? We're gonna do this? We are doing this. All right. I mean, I don't think we're in the consensual realm anymore. I mean, he is asleep. That's shady. I don't like it. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't I don't understand what this is doing here. I don't <laughs> Are we supposed to And it's got this weird sweeping like rear window kind of thing going on like this lush elaborate score, these high strings and the romance that are also I guess supposed to create tension but I'm not sure what to feel right now, because uh, I'm not really getting a strong sense of anything. The act in and of itself is terrifying, but I don't know what- I, I don't understand where Caleb's coming from, and why he's doing this. What well, the- fuck are you doing? I hope the expression on his face will <laughs> reveal something. What are you doing? Uh, uh. <laughs> I thought you'd like it, Daddy. Really? Please just kill me. I just don't... I don't want this anymore. I don't know, I just don't feel like the filmmaking is sophisticated so... enough to warrant this level <laughs> of melodrama. Don't worry. It, this feels most adjacent to a play, and maybe that's why I like I all the one thing that you were handcuffed to a bed stuff, except for the rape that just happened, but that's the thing, it's like... <laughs> It's too exploitative <laughs> to be responsible. Um, it's not completely dismissible either. There's actual valid work happening it, here. It? It's kind of a hodgepodge. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if this movie knows what it is. It's a lot of things, for sure. Like, I'm definitely watching. You hate me? No. No, I don't hate you. And if I I'd gotten you the help you needed... <laughs> when you needed it, or we ever had a frank conversation that wasn't us stroking each other, maybe all of this would have been avoidable. Uh-oh. <gasps> I knew it. I knew you were going to try and kill him. Come on, Caleb. Come on. We know you survived, so... Ah oh, God! Not the corkscrew. The Andrew Christian underwear is so... Like, you couldn't be in pajama bottoms that have, like, no label on the waistband or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> see what I mean? Like, it was an effective scene, and then I get completely yanked out of it because there's Andrew Christian and <laughs> John Paul Lockhart's batch in my face. I can't. I can't. I can't with this movie. 
I think I'm Caleb's prisoner. I can't walk away. I don't want to stop watching. But I, I, I don't know how I feel about being here. <laughs> it's been days. I'm starting to freak. Please answer me. See, yeah, let us read it first. Sorry, baby. Things have been crazy. Let me make it up to you. Meet me. Dinner, if you insist. <gasps> Why? <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jeremy. Jeremy, the, I'm here. The pregnant wife with a very hoarse voice is now <laughs> arrived. Jeremy. Jeremy, I'm here. And again with Hitchcockian S beams. It sounds very Bernard Herman what's, what's going on about? right now. Jeremy? <sighs> Seems we have something in common. Ah! Isn't that right, baby? Somebody tell me what the hell is going on here. <laughs> she is way too calm. Tell me what the hell is going on here. You better speak up, mister. You are in such trouble if what I think what's going on is what's going on here. We have a baby. Uh, how are we supposed to be a family when you have a wife? <laughs> oh my god. We've been fucking for almost a year. Tell her how you like to go down on me. He sucks a mean cock swallows too. Oh, look at that. Nice throw. You're more of a man than he is. <laughs> this is so strange! It's over. Stop! Stop! The pregnant woman Stop! is jumping on the gay psychotic? What is happening? Oh! You cut a pregnant woman's throat! Okay, ain't never seen that before. This is like Jerry Springer levels. <laughs> Sorry for the dated reference. Is there a modern day equivalent? I don't know. We still do Maury Povich, right? I did it. Yeah, we all saw. I didn't mean to do it. Well, okay. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. You still gotta pay the, the price. I remember I was being in Jeremy's house. It's murder, you know. Was... Or manslaughter. Mm -hmm. Like I said, let's start at the beginning. We haven't started yet? I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Are you hungry still? Are you hungry still? You want to play with the cow? You want is he dreaming? Cow? You want your little cow? Because we know that baby isn't being born now. Oh. You want to Yeah, he's dreaming. He's He's got a mirage going on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh, God. <laughs> With the smoky eyes! <laughs> oh, no, not the daddy's angel, bib. Oh, God, you're gonna wake up and realize where you are with your dead wife in the corner. That was it! My brain is like an unmade bed right now. Um, I don't know what I just saw. Um, I think what was communicated at the end there. <laughs> the wife died.
Nobody survives their throat being cut like that, I don't think. The baby survived? Caleb went to jail, prison, and what's his name? Bob Moretti's character was haunted for the rest of his life. In a very James Caan haunted by Kathy Bates in misery kind of manner, I guess. I don't understand. I didn't even take any notes. I was so enveloped in what I was watching. That's something, right? What did I get? <laughs> what I got was a very ambitious piece of material Rob Moretti put together as a script, as footage assembled together, and as this product that I streamed. Obviously, I didn't think that it succeeded at everything that it attempted, but making movies is hard. And making gay movies is probably harder. There's so much to contextualize uh, from a social perspective, from a historical perspective, from an overall cinematic perspective. Uh, what I got was a valiant effort. And, and, and a wild time. I won't soon forget it. I don't think this film is for everyone. Maybe guys with a sixth sense of humor like me. But I can respect the fact that the relationship was as hard to take as it was and as saccharine as it was. Because it did pay off. I wasn't supposed to root for them, I guess. I mean, I don't know if it is... I don't know if it would have been more successful if I had been kind of rooting for them and then the discovery of the marriage and the and the betrayal and the secrecy and all of it. I think that might have packed more of a wallop if I'd actually felt like these two belonged together. But I, I don't know. I think there's something to the reality of, like, would these two people be in what I would deem a healthy successful relationship. No, it, it would probably be fraught with as many problems as it was. So there's that. I also really appreciated a lot of Sean Paul Lockhart's work in this. I knew going into this movie that he, you know, of course was handsome, but that he was charming. Uh, he'd been charming and endearing and earnest even uh, without being fake in the projects I had seen him in before. And in this, he had some Moments that really drew me in, particularly when he's like recounting not even his trauma, but just unpacking his history, just kind of like telling a story like it actually happened to him. Some of the moments that like lean into the violence or lean into just kind of like the explosive anger probably could have been reworked, could have been done in another way because they did feel a little disingenuous. The the stationary camera for a lot of those explosive fits or outrages or whatever they were, uh, seizures, episodes, what have you. Yeah, the cinematography didn't do him any favors sometimes. But ultimately, I, I, I'm really, really glad I finally saw this. Entertaining as fuck. And you know what? I would revisit this. I would screen this for someone who has never seen it before if I think it's something they could definitely get into. Like I said, I don't think it's for everyone, but I think the right people uh, could really have a fun time watching this and even discussing it. You know, uh, kind of, if you have friends who are cinephiles or filmmakers or, you know, just people who like to discuss cinema and examine things and break them down and discuss, like, what worked and what didn't, this is a good candidate for an evening like that, or, you know. So ultimately, time not wasted. I'm, I'm really glad that you decided to uh, dive into this flick with me. Happy Pride. Yeah, as far as representation, I don't know about this flick. <laughs> <laughs> but I also don't think that Rob Moretti was making a film about role models, you know? And if straight people don't have to be role models in every film that they release, why do we? If you like what you saw, feel free to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Looking forward to more queer content this particular Pride Month. And if you just can't get enough of me, feel free to uh, follow me on Instagram at Edward is Truth. Frequently I post about things that I've got going on. Check out the podcasts I participate in. 
movies we're talking about on YouTube and the Cherry Picker podcast everywhere. Maybe I'll post links in the description. But until next time, kids, don't kidnap or stab anyone. Just love. And that is it. I'm out. TV.